uh, the state. We want to know what uh, are you doing to foster any breakdown of law and order? I like that question. And that has to do with my job. My job as a policeman is to protect lives and properties. And that's what we have gone out to do since morning. Uh, we are aware of the crisis uh, that has to do with the tenure of the local government chairman. Uh, we have um, gotten one court order or the other about it. Uh, the Court of Appeal has um, given an order and then um, for everybody to exercise restraint till 20th of uh, this month, just three days. So we expect everybody to respect it, uh, not to take loss into their hands and allow peace to continue as it is. So when you say we expect everybody to respect it, it, is, it's, it looks like you're assuming that people will just obey. And we know that human nature is not like that. There are people who would want to show themselves. In fact, we've seen videos circulating online, people threatening that, oh, we are here to chase these people out and counter threats from both sides, right? So just like you asked, there is a palpable fear that there may be a breakdown of law and order. We need you to reassure reverse citizens who are listening to you right now that that will not be allowed. Uh, sincerely, uh, you know, our officers have been out for the past three days. I just finished um, addressing these officers you see here, and I thank them for the good job they have done. Uh, because they have been out since um, 4 o'clock in the morning, and they just came back since morning. Uh, we are not taking it lightly. We are ready to go. Our officers have been on show of force. We have had additional men given to us from the headquarters, the equipment and the service. We are ready to go. Uh, this is just to assure members of the, the public that so far as we are concerned, we are ready to do our jobs of protecting lives and properties. And we have um, tried our best. We have warned anybody who would want to take laws into their hands. I want to use this opportunity to talk to parents, to call their children and talk to them so that their children will not be used as cannon folder in this same um, crisis. Are there plans to protect the local government uh, headquarters? Everything that has to do with government, every human being in this community will be taken care of. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.